everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Charlotte from Budget with C and this is documenting my journey of a family of three living in the northeast of England, becoming a little bit more savvy with our money and um, yeah, budgeting. I would say we're pretty much zero based budgeting, cash, cash stuff in, can't get my words out, cash stuff in um, and yeah, just trying to be a little bit more careful. I'm currently on maternity leave and I have a four month old little boy. And I would really appreciate it if you could like this video, if you enjoyed it and if you could subscribe. Um, I do have a video, a video, I do have a giveaway live at the moment from two videos ago um, where I shared all of my new Etsy products products and you are in with a chance of winning um, some of my products. That ends on, let me check the date, um, Sunday the 6th of March. So if you're watching it after that then the giveaway is now closed but if you're watching that before why not go and enter? Why not win some freebies? We all love a bit freebie don't we? So this video I thought I would take you um, for a run through of my binders at the moment, probably a little bit excessive but I do have five binders on the go. I know, I've got a little bit obsessed. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's a problem <laughs> um, but I'm really enjoying it. The setup that I've got at the moment is really working so I just thought I would share it with you and yeah. Let's just jump straight in. So, um, while I get this sorted. So, this is my first binder. Um, this is the first one I bought. So, you'll notice that it's very different to the others, but I still really like it. Um, and this is basically our weekly slash monthly. Um, so, in here, if I just turn it around. Oh, you know what? I still haven't done the food label for this envelope. That literally just shows how crazy busy it's been. This is the food envelope for the month. So I keep the money in here and then every week I put the um, the money into the smaller envelope that I keep in my purse. And then what I did with the change is just popped it in here and then when I do my weekly check-in, I'll either do it weekly or monthly, I haven't quite decided yet. I'll probably do a weekly check-in. Um, I'm going to pop this in one of my savings challenges to change. So we've got fuel. Again, that's already in my purse. Household. Um, so I've spent some of it, some of it's in my purse and that's just the change. At the end of the month, we'll change that because I do the household monthly. My son's money. My husband's money. My money, which will be explained in a little while. Family fun date night and that's his insurance but I need to peel it off. This is just money that, um, so I made £10 on Facebook Marketplace last night and the other money is stuff that's technically to go back to the bank but we have got some side hustle money coming in so I'm just going to leave that in the bank and that'll be the money that we stuff. I'm just waiting for all of that to come in. And then we have kind of gift cards and receipts right at the back. Um, I do use some receipt apps. I'll leave which ones I use down below. So I just pop them in there and then um, every now and again I'll just scan them in. Some of them you do have a deadline of I think it's around seven days. Um, but, so I just make sure that I get those ones in first. And they just give you cash back. So yeah, this binder is just used for kind of stuffing monthly but... It's, it's stuff that we would have access to um, quite regularly. So that is that one. And because um, it does tend to get changing, I find that it's better to have this bit separate to kind of any sinking funds and stuff like that. So that is the first one. The next one we'll go to is my personal binder. So um, this is what I showed in my video two two videos ago um, and this is type the type of thing that you could win in my giveaway um, so this one has clothes beauty books oh, that was going to irritate me health 
Elf. My husband's 30th. Business. YouTube. Savings. And again, need to get rid of the vinyl off here, but that is just for change. Um, because of the type of envelope that I'm using in here, it doesn't hold coins very well. You can put them in, but if it got tipped up on its side, um, the coins do fall out. So that is this binder. And um, I also have trackers um, on this one, just so that I can keep myself accountable. And to be honest, when I look at that and think, I've spent £12 on pyjamas, I don't feel guilty about it because I needed the pyjamas, but it just makes you think a little bit more about what you're spending. Um, so that is my personal binder. Moving on to sinking funds, I absolutely love this binder, it is so so cute. Um, little daisies, and I don't think you can see, but yeah, you can. The middle bit is like glittery, and these are some new wallets that I've been designing. Um, some of the where I printed it has gone a little bit funny, but I didn't want to waste it, so I just used it for myself. And then, when and if I do put these up on my Etsy, um. Obviously, I'll reprint them once I've got the printer sorted. I mean, it, it's working fine. Um, it's just one of the toners was down a bit, so I've ordered a new one, and that's coming tomorrow. So we've got gifts. Sorry, I am going to have to sort this money out because it's... Anybody else get like that? So annoying when it's not straight. Yeah, so this is a sinking fund. So this is one that we will be dipping into now and again. Um, well, not now again, just as and when we need to. Um, it's almost like a little bit of a savings fund um, as such. So we've got gifts, holiday. Um, I think once this hits 500, I'll pop the money in the bank. I think we're like 20 pound off. So either this month or next month, I'll pop that back in the bank and we will pop a placeholder in there. Christmas, this one went a little bit wrong, um, but it's okay. We live and we learn. We've got Christmas, we've got house, so this is things like furniture, um, if we want to decorate, kind of short term house things. Um, yeah, not like house rental, that's in another file. This is kind of things that we might want to do at the house this year, or if we want to buy new furniture or anything like that. And garden, again, similar thing. We haven't really got anything big to do in the garden. Um, we did a big job in the garden during lockdown where our garden was like pretty much on a slope and we dug down. So that was like two levels, if that makes sense. I don't know how I've gotten to that chat. But yeah, that's garden. Car maintenance, hasn't got anything in yet, but um, yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen last Friday when my husband finished work, he sent me a picture of the tyre which had totally pancaked. Um, so we needed a new tyre which I definitely hadn't budgeted for this week so that was 106 this month sorry so that was 167 pound that we had to find elsewhere and as soon as that happened I was like I know exactly what folder I haven't got and it's car maintenance um, and I'm gonna be honest I've kind of watched other videos and I thought why have people got car maintenance folders that's exactly why um so yeah got nothing in yet but we'll definitely be starting this next month and again, I changed one that I need to change the vinyl on. Um, and I just need to decide what I'm going to do with the change in here. I think I'll probably just put it towards a savings challenge. Um, kind of every month I'll just clear it out and, and do that. Or if I, I don't know if I've got £10 in it and I knew there's something in the house that I wanted or something, and I'll do that. So that's like our short term sinking fund. We have then got our longer term in this one. And this one I have kept the zip wallet. Purely because these are kind of where I'm keeping the savings challenges. So a lot of them will end up with coins in. Um, so this one is for home rental. I've just added this one. And that's why it's got nothing in yet. We want to in a few years time. We want to extend on the house. So whilst it's not something we need like immediate, if we get any extra money that we can put in here, it would be good to, to start saving for that. Debt, just an obvious one. 
help to buy um so that's what i mean like this has got lots of coins in what i'll probably do is um change the coins up once it gets to a certain point so this isn't too full and for help to buy i'm actually using planning with ella's 52 week challenge um, but i might have to change that into a jar or something emergency fund and future so that is our long term oops, long term sinking funds and the very last one which is like this holographic binder which I just think is so pretty this is our annual binder so this is the total new one if you've watched some of my other videos you'll know that this is never ever featured in any of them and I basically sat a couple of nights ago um, and I looked at all of our bills and I thought, right, if we could get rid of bills that were paying monthly and pay them yearly, how much better would it feel per month? Obviously, we're still paying the same amount. I mean, some of them are a little bit cheaper, but how much better would it feel to not have to pull out everything every month? So we've created this binder. So we've got home insurance, which um, I'm going to try... Our home insurance, I think, is up next month. I need to have a look at it properly. Um, I think it's up next month. So I don't know whether we're going to be able to just pay that outright this year. Um, or whether we'll save and do it next year. But I definitely need to change my home insurance. Because I think we're paying far too much um, than what we should be. Because I, I did get a quote for it yearly. And it was like £100 cheaper. So, yeah. Home insurance. Sorry, this one is stuck because I have been using this one. So this is car insurance slash tax. I've put them together because I know the tax is 150 and I think the car insurance is going to be about 600. So I thought I would just put them together. Um, we've only got 40 pounds in at the moment, but again, we've paid our tax for this year and the car insurance, there's no way we'll be able to do it for this year, but at least we've made a start for next. TV license, 13 pound a month, but 13 pound that i'd rather wasn't going out every month if we can just pay it off in one lump and the biggest one which i've just put it in just to try um council tax our council tax is around the 2000 mark pound mark um i think it's about 2400 or something like that so it is crazy expensive and i don't know if we're going to be able to do that this year next year or whether we start doing it this year continuing it next year and then aim to be able to pay that off from 2024 but yeah it's like 209 pound a month so if we could pay that off in one go it would feel amazing <laughs> but that 209 pound honestly just it breaks my heart when it goes out <laughs> but yeah that's what that one's there for so that is my binders at the moment i'm definitely not adding any more i might add um more envelopes or something like that but at the moment that is how it's standing and um, it might seem a little excessive to some of you but for me this is just how i work i kind of need them to be separate i need to be able to go to this one and know that i'm just going to pull them out straight away and um, i'd rather not be flicking through loads and loads of different wallets and um, so this is working for us at the moment but you never know, things might change. I might end up condensing down to two, but who knows? Probably not. <laughs> um, I hope, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It would really help support my channel and I'll see you in the next one.